Dirty car? We've got a clean and fast solution. Drive into Larry's M Street Car Wash, 431 West M Street, one block from the Village Green Starbucks. Larry's is owned and operated by Larry Ashley, member of Westmore Church of God. Been keeping the streets of Bradley County looking good for over 34 years. We feature brand new equipment, full service wash, complete detail shop, lowest prices, and the fastest and friendliest service in town. Join many of Larry's longtime customers for a car wash experience you'll want to experience again and again. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Ken Jones from Deacon Jones Auto Group, where all of our customers are a part of our family. With 12 brands and over 1,000 pre-owned vehicles available every day, we have the largest selection of cars around. Go to speakingdeacon.com to view our great selection of new and pre-owned cars, apply for financing, get a value for your trade-in, and to see our monthly specials. We look forward to seeing you soon and welcoming you to our family. He never did tell me we might be alone. How did she always make it look so easy? Sometimes you just need someone to talk to. We offer support groups to help with grieving or just talking and sharing. These support groups are another of our commitments to you. At Jim Rush Funeral Homes, we believe life is worth remembering with compassion and respect. We will continue this tradition that has set us apart for so many years. Jim Rush Funeral Homes, it's all about life. North Okoy and Wildwood Chapels. White Wing Christian Bookstore has served Cleveland for over 70 years, offering all the latest books, CDs, movies, church supplies, gift items, and of course, Bibles. White Wing Christian Bookstore is your Bible place, always at least 10% off and will imprint your name free. This Christmas, take a stroll through White Wing, where you'll find something for everyone on your list, and box cards are buy one, get one free through the end of the year. See our Facebook page and don't miss our annual 12 Days of Christmas event. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. White Wing is your Bible place. We've gone to overtime at Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. The clock is running out on the last remaining 2013s. Save thousands on our all-star lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Take up to $10,000 off new Ram. Drive new Cherokees for $239 a month. Get 0% financing and no payments until next year. Overtime savings are on the line. Don't wait. Rush to Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Chattanooga and Cleveland. The better way to buy. Hey, Pastor Chris here, and welcome to It's a High Five Life! I'm so glad that you guys tuned in today. And you know what? Before we get started and going on with the rest of our show, we need to go over three basic rules of It's a High Five Life. Kids, are you ready for the rules? Everybody say, duh rules, duh rules! All right. How about it, kids? What is rule number one? You know it. Rule number one is stay at your seat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fast Freddy, what are you doing? I haven't seen you in ages. Same. I was just here just to say hi to you guys. Oh, hey, everybody say hi to Fast Freddy. Hey, all right. Fast Freddy, welcome to It's a High Five Life. I'm glad you're here. So what's up? Well, first off, those rules don't apply to anything else. What do you mean those rules don't apply to anything else? Well, those are the three basic rules of high five. This is television, silly. Yeah, you know, you're right, this is television. And we're not in high five, so if I say stay at your seat, and that also means that you can't come on the stage without permission, then that's what makes sense, because we have no stage. In fact, we're, we're in a little small studio. We're in the green room. And yeah, rule number one does not apply. You're correct on there, Fast Freddy. But anyway, let's go on to rule number two. And there's another problem. Okay, what's the other problem, Fast Freddy? You're wearing a green shirt. I'm wearing a green shirt. Big deal. It brings out the color of my eyes. See those green eyes? Yeah, green, green. <gasps> I'm invisible. Oh my goodness, Fast Freddy, you're right. We're in a green screen room. I can't wear a green shirt in a green screen room. I'll look like a ghost and scare the poor little children. Um, hold on a second. Uh, let me go change real fast, and I'll be right back. Can you kind of sum up the rules real quick? All right, I'll be right back. Hey, thanks, Fast Freddy, for going over those rules and clearing everything up with the folks at home. Uh, now let's move on to the rest of the show. Wait a it's minute. A Wait a minute, what? I didn't even get to say any of the rules. You didn't say any of them? No. Why, why not? 
Because you were so quick. I was quick? Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. <laughs> you mean you, Fast Freddy, didn't have time <laughs> to go over the rules because I was quick? Pretty much, yeah. Man, say it again. Say, say what, what was I? I, Fast Freddy, admit you were very quick. You, Fast Freddy, admit that I'm very... You know, you're kind of slowing down in your old age, Fast Freddy. <laughs> so you didn't go over any of the rules for real? Nope. You're not joking, are you? Um, okay, so where were we? We went over rule number one, which no longer applies because we're now on TV. And so rule number two, does it apply? Uh, what was rule number two? Do you remember Fast Freddy? Follow directions. Follow directions. Absolutely correct. Rule number two is, in fact, follow directions. And I guess that rule applies to you kids sitting at home because you have your mom and dads at home or perhaps your babysitter. They may ask you to turn the TV way up because they need help hearing. Or they may say to turn it down because it's too loud. And so you need to honor your parents and your babysitter or perhaps your older brother if your mom and dad put them in charge. And you need to follow directions. Very important rule number two. And what's our third final rule? And it hits a high five live. Have fun and praise the Lord! That's right! Have fun and praise the Lord! Everybody shout praises! Woo! <laughs> All right, Fast Freddy man, it's so exciting to have you back with me, hanging out. Uh, I hope to see you more on It's a High Five Live. You gonna be coming back with us? Yes, sir! Awesome! High five! Or, here, I'll take an ear. <laughs> All right. Woo. Pastor Chris, your credit card is maxed out well over the normal operational budget and the max limits that we've set on it. What is going on here? Uh, well, I've, I've made some recent investments that I, I think... Investments? What kind of investments? I just I think that it'll help expand some of the you know outreach that we're doing beyond the church. Um, I, I got this idea for a TV show. Um, you know, this show will have some people in our church will be in it. We'll have some kids. It's reality TV. No, it's it's not reality TV. There'll be some kids in it. I'll be in it. We'll kind of star, reality star in the show. No, it's it's not reality TV. Um, okay, okay. Well, so we'll, if it's not reality TV, what is it? We'll we'll show some uh, footage of stuff that we're teaching kids and families. Reality. Um, no, it, I mean, we'll have some behind the scenes shots and stuff in it and kind of stuff that kind of how things roll around the office a little bit. Uh, but it's not reality TV. What it is, is that it's not reality TV. <laughs> you, wait, you can't define something about what it's not. What is this thing? I'm sure you can. People do it all the time. Uh, what it is, is that it's not reality TV. But you can think of it more like uh, TV for your reality. All right? Is this making sense to you? I don't, I, I'm not. I should praise you. Disco ball is ready. Uh, thanks, Ed. Disco balls. Investments. Reality TV shows that aren't... Pastor Chris, we have a delivery for you here from the post office. Um, now's not a real good time. They need you to sign for it. Okay, just bring him in. Siri, can you push back my 1230? Thank you. Um, is there a uh, Mr. Nip, a uh, Knip? Yeah, it's me. Um, here, for, we need you to sign for this delivery, please, sir. Thanks.
Thank you, sir, for using us. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. What is all this? TV equipment. Dirty car? We've got a clean and fast solution. Drive into Larry's Emistry Car Wash, 431 West Emma Street, one block from the Village Green Starbucks. Larry's is owned and operated by Larry Ashley, member of Westmore Church of God. Been keeping the streets of Bradley County looking good for over 34 years. We feature brand new equipment, full service wash, complete detail shop, lowest prices, and the fastest and friendliest service in town. Join many of Larry's longtime customers for a car wash experience you'll want to experience again and again. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Ken Jones from Deacon Jones Auto Group, where all of our customers are a part of our family. With 12 brands and over 1,000 pre-owned vehicles available every day, we have the largest selection of cars around. Go to speakingdeacon.com to view our great selection of new and pre-owned cars, apply for financing, get a value for your trade-in, and to see our monthly specials. We look forward to seeing you soon and welcoming you to our family. He never did tell me we might be alone. How did she always make it look so easy? Sometimes you just need someone to talk to. We offer support groups to help with grieving or just talking and sharing. These support groups are another of our commitments to you. At Jim Rush Funeral Homes, we believe life is worth remembering with compassion and respect. We will continue this tradition that has set us apart for so many years. Jim Rush Funeral Homes, it's all about life. North Okoy and Wildwood Chapels. White Wing Christian Bookstore has served Cleveland for over 70 years, offering all the latest books, CDs, movies, church supplies, gift items, and of course, Bibles. White Wing Christian Bookstore is your Bible place, always at least 10% off and will imprint your name free. This Christmas, take a stroll through White Wing, where you'll find something for everyone on your list, and box cards are buy one, get one free through the end of the year. See our Facebook page and don't miss our annual 12 Days of Christmas event. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. White Wing is your Bible place. We've gone to overtime at Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. The clock is running out on the last remaining 2013s. Save thousands on our all-star lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Take up to $10,000 off new Ram. Drive new Cherokees for $239 a month. Get 0% financing and no payments until next year. Overtime savings are on the line. Don't wait. Rush to Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Chattanooga and Cleveland. The better way to buy. So what are you and the girls doing after work and school today? I think we're going to go shopping for some new shoes. Oh, new shoes. <laughs> That's always exciting. <laughs> hey, I'm missing that one. <laughs> no, really, I, I don't mind hanging out with you and the girls shopping. Um, I probably won't be able to make it today, though. i got to stay over and work a little late because, you know, i got to do some extra work on a TV show. You're going to be on a TV show? Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's a local cable network. Um, Kids will get to tune in Monday through Friday, right after school, 4 o'clock, and just hang out with Pastor Chris. Isn't that great? Cool. So the kids get to hang out with Pastor Chris after school. Yeah, <laughs> that's something. That would be pretty cool. They'll get to see, you know, a little bit, learn a little bit more about the stuff we're teaching at church. They'll get to see some behind-the-scenes footage, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of crunched for time right now, and trying to film five episodes in a week and a half. So I, I think it's coming along pretty good though. Uh, the team's been working really hard on it and that's why it's kind of taking a lot of extra time right now out of our schedule and sorry about that. Uh, honey, don't worry. I'll never let anything come between us. <laughs> Guys, I told you this can't be like regular reality TV. You can't just follow us around everywhere. Oh, Mike. What? Hey, 
Hey, all month long, we're going to be talking about wisdom. Can you say wisdom? Wisdom! Congratulations. Now, wisdom is very important. We got to have godly wisdom in our lives to live a life that pleases God and is a blessing to others. You know, Jesus himself, Jesus grew in wisdom. In fact, in Luke chapter 2, verse 52, it says that Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. First of all, it says he grew in wisdom. Jesus knew it was important to study hard. He studied the scriptures and he learned from those who were more older and more mature than he was. In fact, there's a Bible story where it talks about how Jesus was in the temple for a few days and he was astonishing the temple leaders there with his wisdom and how he knew the scriptures and with the questions that he would ask. He grew with godly wisdom. He also grew in stature. Jesus played hard and he loved to play and he grew physically strong. Wrong. And it says he grew in favor with God and favor with man. Jesus knew it was important to have good relationships with people. He prayed to God regularly. He studied the word of God. And he was honoring to his mother and his father and the relationships that surrounded him in his life. Jesus knew that wisdom was important to life. And it was important to Jesus at a young age to search out and to find wisdom. Now, you might be sitting there at home or perhaps in the car, and you might say, Pastor Chris, what is wisdom? Is it like a tooth in your mouth? Ah! <laughs> well, in fact, it is. There is something called wisdom teeth, and we call them wisdom teeth because typically, as you grow older and wiser, you get them taken out. I happen to have all four of my wisdom teeth still intact. And I'm holding on to them babies as long as I can. But no, that's not the kind of wisdom. It's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the wisdom that comes from God that when you have to make decisions in your life or when you're trying to figure out how to deal with certain life circumstances, that you can make a wise choice. You can make a good choice that blesses God and that blesses other people and can influence people around you in a godly way. Wisdom is so important because wisdom can keep you from playing in the part of a fool. Now this month, we're going to think about how choosing wisdom is not always easy. It's not always easy to make the wise choice, but when you search in God's word, that'll help you, give you the strength you need to make wise decisions. Secondly, we learn that the Bible challenges us to respond to others wisely, to exercise wisdom and how we deal with other people, even if it costs us something. And lastly, we're going to look at how choosing wisdom in our lives shows the world around us that we are growing in our relationship with Jesus Christ. We're having a great time on It's a High Five Life, and I want to share with you some wisdom from God's Word. Um, in 1 Corinthians, has a lot of great stuff in there. There's a verse in chapter 1, verse 18. It says, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. All right, pretty cool stuff. I'm going to skip ahead a few verses. And verse 25 says, For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom. So even stuff that's foolishness to God is wiser than the wisdom of human beings. In chapter 2, right here, Paul wrote, When I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except for Jesus Christ and Him crucified. The power of the cross. It's the wisdom of that we receive and embrace the cross because it was by the cross of Jesus Christ that he suffered and died for your sins and my sins. So something I wanted to do with you kids while you're watching is I want to do an activity with you called the Sticky Cross. We're going to take some duct tape and tape it together and I'll show you how to make a cross that you can fold up in your pocket and take with you wherever you go because as disciples of Jesus Christ, we have to learn how important it is to take up our cross and to follow Jesus because that is wisdom. Hmm, speaking of duct tape, I better go get some. Let me go get some duct tape and I'll be right back and I'll show you 
how to make a sticky cross. Oh my goodness. Penny? Penny the fool? Hey, Nip. Oh my goodness. Ha, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just hanging out. Hanging out? Oh yeah. man. Uh, you know this isn't Sunday. I know, but you know, it's okay. I've been working on some new material. <laughs> I, I bet you have. Hey, you know what's funny? Before you get into your new material, I think it's quite ironic that you happen to be here today because I'm right in the middle of filming a teaching segment on wisdom. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, pity the fool. Yeah, because okay. you know, I'd never want to look foolish <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. So, so what are you talking about? Are you saying that you're wise, Nip? <laughs> Am I saying I'm wise? Well, I try to be wise, try to be a wise guy. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> listen, if you're so wise, can you tell me why the public police officer smells so bad? Tell you why the public police officer smells so bad? Yeah. Mm. It's because he was on duty. Oh, oh, yes. It was on duty. I'm on raw. Oh, hey, if you're so wise, uh -huh. why can't Dracula's wife get to sleep? Why can't Dracula's wife get to sleep? Because he's coughing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, I got a biblical joke for you there, Nip. A biblical joke? Okay. Yeah, this is about Pharaoh. You know Pharaoh, don't you? Yeah, I know Pharaoh. Yeah, it was like in Exodus or something like that. Yeah, he was actually, yeah. Yeah, well, who does Pharaoh talk to when he's all sad? Who does Pharaoh talk to when he's all sad? His mummy! Oh, oh, Nip. Oh, I gotta rest after that one. His mummy. They've been giving me these jokes at joke school. Joke school? Yeah. Right, yeah. But, you know, you couldn't answer any of those, so I don't think you're that wise at all. <laughs> Somebody needs to give you a little more wisdom. Maybe I should go to joke school, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, pity to fool. I, I think it's, it's, like I say, it's kind of ironic you're here today. I am doing a teaching about wisdom, and uh, I was going to make a duct tape cross uh, so the kids at home and our viewing audience can make a duct tape cross. Duct tape! Duct tape. Is that that tape that goes quack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like a duct yeah, tape. Yeah, it's a tape that goes quack. Well, I wanted to make a, a duct tape cross, and I kind of nickname it the Sticky Cross, because the cross should be sticky, right? It's okay. A, it's a symbol of Christianity, and it's a symbol of wisdom, you know, because we want to take up our cross and follow Jesus. So uh, I'm going to be on the hunt looking for duct tape. You, you want to help me find some duct tape? Well, I'll try. Okay. I hope you have good luck finding your duct tape. Yeah, <laughs> well, me too. You, need, you might need a duct tape dynasty. Oh, oh, that was a joke. A duct that's tape a show. Now, do you get that from joke school? Or you write that. No, I, I just come up with that. Well, that's pretty good. You can tell, kinda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Nip. Good luck uh, with your duct tape. All right. Well, give me a fist bump. Okay. All right. All right. I'll Thanks, see you. Nip. I'll see you later. Good to Pitty. see you. Yeah. Good to see you later, Pity. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Duct tape. Where did I put the duct tape? All right. Let's see. Uh... Uh, oh man, pity the fool. <laughs> what a guy. All right, now, where were we? Um, yeah, I was missing the duct tape, so I did find the duct tape. I also found pity the fool. <laughs> Imagine that, talking about wisdom and then running into pity the fool. Fun stuff. So, all right, I hope you have some duct tape pandy and uh, perhaps some scissors. Uh, you might need assistance from your mom and dad with the scissors, unless you have child safety scissors. And, uh, and duct tape. All right, where were we? We were talking about the scripture of the Word of God, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 1. Verse 18, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God, all right? So we're talking about how God's wisdom is way better and greater than the wisdom of man. And uh, the message of the cross is a powerful message because if Jesus wouldn't have died on the cross for our sins, there's no way that we could have life 
in him, eternal life. So I thought it'd be really cool if we made a duct tape cross. I like to call it the sticky cross because, well, we're using sticky duct tape. And also the cross should be sticky to us. The Bible says that we need to take up our cross in Luke 9, 23, take up our cross daily and to live and follow Jesus Christ. So, all right, let's make the sticky cross. First of all, you got to get your duct tape and you got to find where you can peel it away here and don't you love that duct tape sound? And so you got your nice strip of duct tape and then you take it and you can put it down on a table, a flat surface, and then you get your other side of the duct tape. There you go. And rip it off about the same length and you apply the sticky sides facing each other so it makes a nice uh, surface, non-sticky surface on both sides. And then you get another small strip of duct tape and you put it on the back of the cross just like this. And then you get another piece that matches that size and then you stick it on there right like this. So I'm going to stick it down here on the table and forming the sticky cross together and now it'll look something like this. All right, where there's no sticky sides showing, but it's all the smooth side of the duct tape, and you got a duct tape cross. All right, but now you might have some little leftover pieces on the end, so you just take some scissors and you trim it up like so to make it nice and neat. And after you get that all done, then you'll have a nice cross, the duct tape cross, what I call the sticky cross that you can take up daily. You can fold it up, put it in your pocket, and take it everywhere you go, or it can make a nice Bible bookmarker in your Bible just like that so you can find your place really quick. The sticky cross. We need the cross in our lives every day to remind us of what Jesus did for us and that we need to take up our cross daily and die to ourselves so that we can live for Him. Today's bottom line says, if you want to be wise, look before you leap. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 3 says that wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep on going and they suffer for it. See, it's important in our lives, if we see danger, that we don't follow after people and do foolish things just because they did it. Just because the majority of people are doing things doesn't mean it's always the wisest thing to do. We need to look into God's Word and learn from God's Word to make wise decisions in our lives. We can learn from King Josiah and decide, like he decided, not to follow after all the unrighteous kings, but to read God's law and to follow God's law. All right, guys, it's time to go over this month's memory verse. Woo! Memory verse time. You remember where it's found? Of course you do. Proverbs, the book of wisdom literature. 31 chapters, a chapter a day for an entire month of a 31-day month, of course. It was written by King Solomon, the wisest man that's ever walked the face of planet Earth. Now, we're going to do the memory verse a little bit different today. We're going to sing it together. Are you guys ready to sing? Let's warm up our voices. May me my mo moo. May me my mo moo. All right, you guys ready to go? Huh? No, there's no cows around here. I was just doing my vocal warm up exercises, just like my mama taught me years ago when I was a child. All right, now that we're warmed up and ready to go, let's go over our memory verse. The book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse number 10. All right, I'll say it with you first, and then we'll sing it. Choose my teaching instead of silver. Choose knowledge rather than fine gold. Are you ready to sing? La! All right, let's sing. Choose my teaching instead of silver. Choose my teaching instead of silver. Choose knowledge rather than fine gold. Choose knowledge rather than fine gold. Choose my teaching instead of silver. Choose my teaching instead of silver. Choose knowledge rather than fine gold. Choose knowledge rather than fine gold. Great job, you guys are doing marvelous. Give yourselves a hand, give yourselves a hand. Proverbs 8 verse 10. Choose my teaching instead of silver. 
Choose knowledge rather than find gold. Hey, I'm so glad that you guys got to join us today. We've had a blast on It's a High Five Life. Remember, it's important to know God's Word, not only in your head, but hide God's Word in your heart so you can live it with your hands. Hey, high five! Woo!